all live in a high-tech world these days. I live in a high-tech world, so what I'll try to do is, is uh, connect those dots and have some observations about the nexus of physical and, uh, and high-tech uh, kind of security implementations and what some of the changes are, are going on in the world and, and what that would portend for us. My last job in the Navy, I was the uh, what's called the, the OPNAV N2, N6, or the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Information Warfare in the Pentagon. So that portfolio has uh, Navy communications networks and, and comms, generally uh, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, oceanography, meteorology, uh, cyberspace, cyber uh, security, and uh, space assets. So it's a very, very broad portfolio that I was the resource sponsor for. And also under that hat, I was the Navy CIO and the director of Navy Cybersecurity. So uh, even though I grew up in naval aviation and had uh, kind of a typical career there, that last job launched me off into this brave new world of, of things, cyber and high tech. And it's a very interesting place to be, as I'm sure you will all agree. I, and I think most people, when they think of physical security, they think about walls and fences and cameras and guards and, and locks and, and things that, uh, you know, are generally bars to, uh, you know, keeping people out or keeping people in, as the case may be, uh, in, in a physical security world. But uh, as I just mentioned, it's expanded much more, uh, much more than that now and into a great deal of, of high technology. But the leap for our Internet of Things in its, in its full implementation is really eye-watering when you think about what it can do. All this technology has a good side and sometimes it has another side, you know, and so you, you, t you take the good with the bad. We, uh, we have the drones, the Internet of Things, the big data, data analytics, the capability to mine that data and use it for things like biometrics and facial recognition and surveillance. We have machine learning and autonomy these days and we will increasingly need that machine learning and autonomy to be able to compete uh, as, as decisions start happening at machine speed and we have to be able to have the, the artificial intelligence enter that, enter that fight.